Okay, I'm pleased to say we have one more speaker from Business Rocks joining us. We have Matthew Griffin, the CEO of The Futurist. How are we doing today, Matthew? Yeah, doing very, very well. How are you? Yeah, no, I'm really, really good. I'm excited to, to share and hear your story. So how did you come to be doing what you're doing? What, like, what was your journey to get there? So, I mean, my background, Wes, has been in enterprise sales and in enterprise executive positions, Wes, for some of the world's largest technology organizations. And if you step back sort of, yeah, 10 years ago, it was always evident to me that what those technology organizations were very good at doing is going in to businesses and talking about typically two out of three levers. So they would talk about how they're going to reduce cost, how they're going to reduce risk. Um, but as we all know, industries around the world care about a third lever, and that is growth. Mm -hmm. So we had a lot of these very large technology organizations traditionally going into really any enterprise organization that you can imagine, going in, talking about taking cost out of a business. And the cost that they're trying to take out of the business is essentially people. Yes. So what we see is we see people leaving these organizations via the back door and we saw automation coming in through the front door in different guises, whether it was business process optimization, management, whether it was simple consolidation, whether it was a move to cloud, whatever it happened to be. So a good number of years ago, I decided that I wanted to see whether or not we could programmatically help enterprise organizations grow new lines of business. How do we address that third lever? So when I was at IBM, I developed a methodology called the Lone Star Methodology, walked it into a variety of enterprise organizations, and it worked. And you know, from my perspective, what I want to do is I don't want to take people out of employment. I want to use technology to put people into employment. Okay. So that's really where my journey started. And over the years, you know, I started 311 Institute. We now consult for a whole variety of organizations around the world. And um, it's good being able to walk into an organization and rather than saying to them, let's, let's talk about how we're going to take people out, we talk about let's, how we're going to put people in. Okay. As well as some other things, of course. And um, one of the ways that we do that is we try to predict the future, uh, which is where the futurist angle comes in. So I track over 180 emerging technologies. Uh, I work with inventors, academics, private equity, venture capital organizations, I work with governments and regulators. I work with multinationals, but I also work with the entrepreneurs and the accelerator communities to try to knit together a picture of the future that we can take into any industry at any level mm -hmm. to not just help them understand what the threats and opportunities are for their business, uh, but also to help them under, understand what the next, for example, new industry looks like. Okay. You know, what is it? Why is it? Is it interesting to them? Yeah. If it's interesting to them, then how do they go? How do they go forward and grapple it and you know, wrestle it to the ground? And that's yeah. You know, that's really just sort of a, a quick, however many minutes that was. You know, just a sort of quick intro. Yeah. And do you enjoy it? Absolutely. Um, on the one hand, you know, when I'm talking to people, I can scare the bejesus out of them. Yeah. You know, because as we see the rise of automation, robots, industry for drones, artificial intelligence, blockchain as well to these to sort of different guises. Yeah, it's it's easy for people to sometimes see the negatives in technology. You know, you have a look at the press, for example, at the moment and everything is about automation and again how people are being cycled out of industries out the back door. Um, but then again on the flip side, you know, I'm able to go and have conversations with people about how they are, how they and their loved ones can live longer because of things like regenerative medicine, gene editing, gene therapy, uh, nanotechnology, all these different sort of you know, biotech technologies that we're seeing. And um, yeah, when we start lifting the lid on what's already here and some of the emerging technologies, some of the inventions, some of the new products and services that are either here or coming down the line over the next few years, yeah. people are stunned. Yeah, and that's, yeah, we'll, we'll tease that out in a little bit. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. Well, thanks very much for that. We're going to hear more from Matthew, but what a great intro to how he thinks and how he got to be where he is. So thank you very much. Thank you.